Hey guys, I'm out here at White Oaks on White Oaks Boulevard Sheets. I uh, came out here to do a visual inspection of some properties. They're up for rezoning. When I was on Clarksburg uh, Planning Zoning Commission, we had a rotating committee. Uh, the members were tasked with going out, personally looking at properties that were before the commission for a rezoning, for alley abandonment, uh, for whatever. Try to get the lay of the land, uh, the condition of the buildings out of it, uh, a feel for the environment. Report back to the commission so that they weren't just voting blindly. Uh, you know, properties out here have been uh, before the Bridgeport Planning and Zoning Commission three times. I wanted to look at them, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the road to them exists on paper. Uh, it's effectively the parking lot between the two Ant Antero buildings. Connect Bridgeport article discussed some unseemly activities going on out here. And I figured a man in a wig and an old coat that he bought in a truck stop uh, might fit in that category, and I'd be safer here than over there. Uh, one of the biggest discussions in economic development in West Virginia is a lack of available flat land, a lack of highway access. And um, this is described as the field of dreams uh, about 10 years ago in the Clarksburg paper, uh, uh, article written by lovely Aaron Beck. Uh, he said, if you build it, they will come. Well, we've got two lots out there. One's uh, 2.2 acres. The other's about 2.5 acres. Uh, they've sat undeveloped. One plan after another has fell through. They think they they, they finally settled on one. Uh, but my point here is that we, we, we've kind of lost our way a little bit. You know, there's two paths you can go by. And, and they went down the road of putting all their eggs in, creating flat land, and, and, and neglecting uh, and undercutting a quality of life and, uh, and, and things that make West Virginia... A pleasant place to live. I'll give you an example. Uh, this property right out here, the current plan for development is to build 24 uh, half million dollar homes, about 2,000 square foot each, in a gated community. Uh, ask yourself, is, is that really going to be that pleasant of a place to live? I'm sure the, the homes will be nice, but it's going to be surrounded on, on two sides by a parking lot and on the other two sides on a hill that's very steep, practically a strip mine uh, high wall, <laughs> you, you know, in an office park. Uh, who's going to buy those homes? I'm sure somebody will, but it, it just goes uh, to, to the attitude of saying that jobs come first, uh, creating uh, land for companies come first, and our and our communities come second. Uh, Dave Hinkle mentioned in his debate with Mike Romanner recently that the biggest obstacle facing Harrison County right now is that we've continued to lose population. He said, please give us a chance. We've got jobs out here that we can't fill. It may not be what you're looking for, but, you know, you can make a living here. Why? You know, what well, we you know, human beings don't exist just to fulfill a capitalist, meet a capitalist bottom line numbers. Uh, we have our, all have our own hopes and dreams. And, 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 and if we want to attract people, a lot of companies are recognizing you have to create communities that they actually want to live in. What if instead of the, of the $21 million that we owe, that the Harris County taxpayer is paying on to create this infrastructure out here, what if it had gone into downtown Clarksburg instead and into its infrastructure? Uh, what if we buried the power lines, replaced all the water and sewer 20 years ago? Uh, what if we'd repaved the roads, redid the sidewalks? What if we created a fund to help uh, redevelop some of our historic assets like uh, the golf building, the Waldo Hotel? What if we'd have created a, a vital community down there 15 years ago? Would we still be begging for people to come live here? Would we still be losing young people to Morgantown? Very possible, maybe. Um, but it was a decision that was made, and we're feeling the effects of it now. We, we, we put money in something that due to economic circumstances and, and, and changes in the global economy and the national economy haven't panned out. Um, and that's the situation we find us in. You know, old Led Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. There's two paths you can go by, but there's still time to change the road you're on. Uh, maybe instead of just fighting over each other, over little contrived differences uh, uh, as to whether, you know, we should build an annex or not. Maybe we need to be fundamentally rethinking the approach that we've taken in Harrison County. Uh, I've gone long again. I've probably rambled more than I should. I'm going to let you go now. I'll ask you later.